Mike, obviously, concerned what happened last year. Penn State's going to be pretty fired up. It's going to be a kind of a wild crowd. How do you guys kind of match that early in this early in the game, particularly on the defensive end? Yeah, um, you know, it's going to be a great atmosphere over there. Uh, they always got a, you know, except for last year, you know, uh, it's going to be a great crowd. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, obviously coming off last year, they'll definitely be looking for, you know, a little revenge. But um, I think, you know, it's just up to us having a great week of practice and, and getting everything in line to perform during the game. So um, as long as we do that, I think we can match up well. No, you're probably not very deep into, uh, you know, sort of game prep for them yet. Probably just watch film, but obviously they've got, they've got a new coordinator this year. They've got a couple uh, new bodies, a couple guys that were healthy that weren't a year ago. How are they different from what you can tell uh, in, in sort of a first or second watch? Yeah, um, you know, they're they're pretty explosive, and they got they got a lot of dynamic guys outside, and they'll be making plays on the edge. But um, I think uh, you know it's gonna it's gonna take our guys up front doing their job and stopping the run early, and then and then forcing them to throw the ball. And then after that, we'll do our job on the back end. Um, so yeah, I think it's just everybody doing their job and locking in. Micah, you're going up against an experienced quarterback and Sean Clifford who's played a whole lot of games in that. When it comes to scheming against him and trying to be creative and doing different things, I mean, how is it a, is it a little added challenge knowing that he's probably seen a whole lot of stuff already that you guys need to try to be good with your wrinkles? Yeah, you know, he's a great quarterback, real experienced guy. And, um, you know, he's not, <clears throat> He's not normally a runner, but he, he can use his legs and extend plays and, uh, you know, scramble and get out of the pocket. So we're going to definitely have to do a good job containing him up front and then um, locking on to guys on the back end and making sure we're not coming out of coverage to, to kind of corral him. But, um, you know, doing our job as linebackers and flowing with the ball and, and tracking him down. So, um, yep, it's going to be a, it's going to be part of our game plan for sure. I guess following up on that, I know it's early in the week. I haven't talk too much specifics on this. It's kind of been a mixed bag against him the last couple of years. I think he had a, a good game against you all a couple of seasons ago. Obviously, last year you kind of forced him into some mistakes. Is there anything different that's kind of popped off film about him kind of early on in prep for this week? Just because I think this season in particular, it seems like he's been more efficient. He's been able to kind of mix things up a little bit more with the way he uses his guys and create more explosive plays. Yeah, um, you know, he's, he's definitely a little bit quicker out of the pocket and getting that ball out. So. Um, you know, whatever we got to do, blitz patterns up front, getting back there faster, um, creating opportunities for guys to get to the quarterback. That's what we're going to have to do. And then, um, you know, like like you said, he can extend plays and, and get the ball downfield. So um, it's going to be a big job for our, our defensive backs to cover those guys and make sure they don't extend plays. Yeah, Mike, I, you guys saw some crazy tempo against Old Miss and Western Kentucky. I, I don't know how much you'll see that again this year, but to the extent that you do, do you feel like you've learned things that you can, you know, adjust a little bit quicker when that happens? Yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, it was, it's definitely good to get those type of looks early in the year so you can, you know, you can adjust and prepare for, for games later because, you know, teams see that and they're, they're going to prepare their game plans off of that as well. And we know that. So, um, you know, we're going to have to definitely adjust and, and, you know, be ready for it when it comes. Mike, uh, Cam Jones gets a little unheralded. He had a big tackle for a loss and so forth. Uh, just talk about his progress. You've seen it up close the last few years. Yeah, no, he's a great player. And uh, it's just really exciting to play alongside him. You know, we're, we're good friends off the field. But on the field, we just, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, we're real cohesive. And we can talk back and forth, communicate. And we kind of know what each other are thinking and, and um, you know, who wants to blitz when and where and, and just kind of the situation of the game. So. Um, he's a great player, and he's he's come such a far way, you know. And um, I just I love playing next to that guy. Appreciate it, guys.